welcome to another green marble crochet tutorial and also welcome to granny square sunday so for this tutorial or for this granny square sunday i'm going to be showing you how to make this what i've called the um the lazy girl argyle square yes and the reason i call it lazy girl is because it kind of looks lazy when you put it together but i'm very very happy with it so yeah i think it looks really good um I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So yes, I've been wanting to come up with an argyle pattern for crochet for a while, and it's not really that easy to do, but I'm... No, I think this one's alright. Um, and it's very, very quick, so that's, that's what the other good thing about this is. So yes, I'm going to be using this particular square to make a sweater at some time in the future, but I'm going to have to make a few of them before I can put that together. Uh, yes, and also for this tutorial, because I'll be making the fourth in this diamond square particular pattern, I'll be also showing you how to join, how to join these squares together for future reference. Yes, okay, we're going to do that. That's excellent. Um, so before we get started, I think I'm going to have a look at the tiny details on the label. So these yarns are both the same, the same brand. So this is the brand we're working with. And if you need more time to look at anything, just pause the video, have a bit more of a look. Um, so there's that side. And here are the tiny relevant details. So it's saying I should use a 3 or a 3.5 millimeter hook. So I'm using my 3.5, which is the same for all the squares that I've been making. So just using 3.5. So yeah, that's it. I don't really think there's much else I need to say. You can probably just get started. Um, yeah, let's begin. Alright, now before I begin, I just want to mention quickly that because I'll be going through this one with you at a fairly steady pace, um, step by step, uh, if it's too fast for anybody at any point, there's a feature on YouTube where you can slow down the speed of the video. Uh, it's on the side panel somewhere of the video screen, and you can go to the settings and just slow it down as much as you want. Uh, I, I just suggest doing that because it, if it's too fast, I'll try to be as clear as I possibly can, but I'm not going to be explaining things as much as I normally would in other tutorials. Okay, so let's begin. What we're going to do to begin is we're going to take the ends of both of the yarn, and both skeins, both of the colours, and we're going to make a slip knot with both of these. So, slip knotting them together just like this. And I'm keeping that tail fairly short just because I want to crochet it in as I go along. Now we're going to adjust that knot to our hook like this. And we're going to chain three. So with both of those yarns, chaining three, so one, two, and three. Now I'm going to drop the green one, drop the green strand and pick up the pink. So I'll do that behind it. Pick up the pink, yarn over, and just do one chain with pink only. So, pink only. Now I'm going to work my way back and slip stitch into the first chain, that beginning chain just there. Slip stitch, so yarn over, pull through, and pull through the chain to make a little chain circle, just like that. Hopefully I can pull that apart and see the middle of it. That'd be good. Where are we? There. Yeah, that's okay. It's not too bad. It's pretty good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to we're going to chain up two from this point. So one and two. And always remember that chain of two is gonna act as a stitch, so it's gonna be part of your overall stitch count of every round. Except for the last round where it's going to be a chain of... Anyway, we'll get to that at that point. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put in four double crochets into the center of that chain circle. So a double crochet is yarn over, then insert your hook into the center of the chain circle. So just like that. Yarn over, pull through a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. So that's one. Then we're going to be putting in two and three and four. 
So now for the fifth one that we're going to be doing in the pink, what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the center of the chain circle, yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, but now you're going to drop the pink and pull up the green behind it, just like this, yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops to finish the stitch. So now we've changed the colors. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put five double crochets into the center of the chain circle in the green. So one, two, three, keep that neat, and two, and three, four, and five. So there's five in the green, but for the sixth one that we're going to be doing in the green, we're going to once again yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then we're going to drop that green strand, pick up the pink behind it like this, yarn over, pull through the remaining two stitches. So we've changed yarn again, then we're sort of wrapping, wrapping the pink around the green like this, yeah you can see, sort of like that, to catch up the green strand so that when you slip stitch into the top of that chain two from the beginning, so there's the chain two at the beginning just there, you're going to slip stitch into the stitch just above that, making sure you catch up the green to close the round, and just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain up two, and every stitch around is going to, for this for round two, is going to have two stitches in it, uh, except for stitch number six, which is going to be slightly different, but we'll go through that together. So what you're also doing at this point is you're counting that slip stitch at the end of the last round because it's pink. That's going to be the first of the pink slide. You'll see what I mean when we get to it. So what we're going to do is, because we're counting the chain of two as a stitch, right in the stitch beneath that we're going to put one double crochet, so one double crochet into the stitch right next to the chain of two. So that will be, we're counting that chain of two as two, then three, because remember we're counting that slip stitch at the end of the last round as one, so that's one, two, three. Then into the next stitch it's going to be four and five, so it's two stitches in the same stitch, but for stitch number six what we're going to do is we're going to drop the pink and pull the green up behind it like this, then yarn over with the green and you're going to go back into the center of that chain circle from the beginning or into the beginning circle, you're going to yarn over, pull through the loop and sort of stretch it loose so that it comes up to meet the next round, then you're going to Drop that green and pull the pink up behind it like this, yarn over, pull through those two green loops, yarn over, finish the stitch, pull through those two last loops. So that's stick stitch number six. Then you're going to, into the stitch where that would have gone, where are we? Pulling that one apart, so into this stitch just here, so that's six, yep. You're going to put the seventh one in there, so stitch number seven just like that, then into the next stitch it's going to be 8 and 9, 9, then into the next stitch it will be 10 and 11, then into the next stitch along you're going to be doing you're going to be beginning it with the pink, pink strand, the pink yarn, so pull through two loops, then you're going to drop that pink, pull up the green behind it, yarn over, finish the stitch, just like that. So that's, we've got 12, no, we've got 11 because we're doing the 12th one at the end. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put a double crochet in the green next to that pink one. So that's going to be the first of the green on this side, so one, then into the next stitch will be two and three, like this, then into the next stitch will be, I wish that would focus better, four and 
five. Then for stitch number six in the green, it's going to be dropping the green and picking up the pink behind it, yarn over with the pink. Go into the center of that chain circle, well, the beginning circle, pull that loop up, stretch it so that it comes up to meet that round, round two. Then dropping the pink and pulling the green up behind it, just like this, yarn over with the green, pull through those two pink loops. And then yarn over, pull through the remaining two green. Then you're going to put the seventh stitch in the green into the stitch where that sixth stitch would have gone. Double crochet. Then the next stitch along will be eight and nine. That's not good because I missed out. Hmm. So the next one along being, that's better, eight and nine. Then into the next one along, it will be 10 and 11. Then for the 12th green double crochet, it's going to be into that pink slip stitch at the beginning. So you're going to do half of that stitch, which is yarn over, pull through two. Then dropping the green, you're going to pick up the pink around the back behind it, yarn over, finish the stitch with the pink. Then next to that green stitch, you're going to put a pink double crochet for the last stitch of the round. And there we go. Just like that. Let's try it. Yep, that's fine. All right, now what you're going to do is making sure to twist these strands so that you're catching the green up when you slip stitch with the pink. You're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two from the beginning, so that stitch above it just there, to close the round. Just like that. There we go, and that's round number two. Okay. Okay, now for round number three, what we're going to do is we're going to chain up two, so one and two, and into that stitch beneath the chain of two, because this chain of, chain of two is going to count as a stitch, again, we're going to put a double crochet right there next to that. Then into the next stitch, we're going to put one double crochet like that. So just here we've got two stitches right at the end of the last round in pink. So that's going to count as one, two of the pink side. So one, two, so that chain of two will be three. Where are we? There we are. That chain of two will be three. And then the stitch after that is four. Now you've got five. And for this round, what you're doing is you're putting two stitches into every first stitch and one stitch into every second stitch. So that fifth one is just going to be a solitary stitch into that stitch. Then moving on to the next stitch is going to be two stitches into the same stitch. So that will be stitch number six and seven. Six and seven, just like that. Then into the next stitch along, it will be a solitary stitch, so it will be stitch number 8. Now, for stitch number 9, this is where it gets slightly complicated, but, well, not really. Stitch number 9 is going to be dropping the pink, yarn over with the green. So yes, you're dropping the pink, yarn over with the green behind it, just like that. Then, you're sort of pushing the spoke of this very long stitch that you did before, so the in the green, you're going to push it aside like this and come out through the back on the opposite side of it. So if you can see, no, I don't think you can. I've got to make sure my camera focuses for this. So going in beside it just like that, turning over, coming out through the back like this on this side of the stitch. Then you're going to yarn over, pull through the green and pull it up so that it stretches up to this round. Then you're going to yarn over, pull, no, sorry. <laughs> then you're going to drop the green and pull the pink up around beside it or behind it, just like this. Yarn over, pull through those two green loops, yarn over, pull through the two pink loops, like that. I wish my camera would focus better. Anyway, so that's stitch number nine. Then next to that one, into the next stitch along, you're going to put your tenth stitch. 
So that would represent the second in that stitch if there was going to be, if nine was going to be a normal stitch, which it is not. So then into the next stitch is going to be 11, which is a solitary stitch. So 11, which is one stitch. Then in the next stitch along, it's going to be two stitches. So 12 and 13. Then into the next stitch is 14, being a solitary stitch. Then into the stitch after that is... 15 and 16 into the same stitch then you're going to put 17 being a solitary stitch into that last pink one just there at the end now what you're going to do is you're going to do your half of the next double crochet into the next stitch along so that green one just there so pull through two drop the pink pick up the green yarn over finish the stitch with the green now what you're going to do is because there's going to be two stitches into this stitch you're going to put your first green double crochet in beside that pink one into the same stitch so it's going to count as one then moving on to the next stitch it's going to be two which is a solitary stitch into that stitch then the next one is going to be two so it will be three and four into the same stitch next one is solitary number five then six and seven into the same stitch six and seven then solitary number eight into that stitch before we do number nine which is which is dropping the green pulling the pink up behind yarn over then going in beside the pink just god i really want you to be able to see this probably this is not good okay where are we? There we are. So going in behind just like this. So turn it so that you can see if it comes out just on that side. Just there. Then yarn over. Pull that loop up. And then dropping the pink, you're going to be pulling the green up behind it just like this. That's just to make sure you're catching up the pink as you go along. Yarn over with the green. Pull through those two pink loops. Yarn over. Finish the stitch. Then you're going to be putting number 10 into that stitch just there where the number nine would have gone and into the next one is going to be solitary number 11 into the next stitch is going to be 12 and 13 into the same stitch so 12 and 13 then into the next stitch will be solitary number 14 then 15 and 16 into the next stitch 15 and 16 then into the next stitch along solitary number 17 next stitch 17 like this then we're going to put our 18th of the green so that's the final of the green in this round into the next stitch along but only half do it don't complete it yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two only dropping the green, pulling the pink up around behind it, yarn over, finish the stitch, just like that. Now, because there's going to be two stitches into that stitch, we're going to put our first, well, this is stitch number one in the pink, <laughs> into that same stitch as we just put our last green double crochet, so one pink. Then our final pink stitch into that last stitch at the end of the round, just there. So there's two pink stitches at the end. Then, making sure to twist up your green, twisting it up, you're going to slip stitch into that chain two right at the beginning there. So there's that chain of chain of two just there. Slip stitch into the top of that to close the round. There we go. So we've completed that round three. The, yes, <laughs> we've completed round three. All right, let's move on to round number four. And by round, I mean square. Okay, for round number four, what we're going to do is we're going to chain up one, so chaining up one, and we're going to put three half double crochets along, but we're not putting our first stitch into the stitch right beneath that chain of one. Again, we're going to move on to the next stitch, because for this round, we're not really increasing until we get to the corner sections. So this chain of one is going to act as your first stitch again. So for a half double crochet, it's yarn over, 
And going into that next stitch along, it's insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. So that's a half double crochet. I guess we'll do it again together. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three stitches or three loops. So that's two. Then you're going to put another one of those along. So that's three. Now into the next stitch, you're going to put a double crochet. So one double crochet into the next stitch. And into the next stitch, you're going to put three double crochets into the same stitch. So one, two, and three. Now what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over once, yarn over twice, and you're going to go into that same stitch where you've put those three double crochets. You're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now what you're going to do is you're going to drop that pink, pull up the green behind it. With the green you're going to yarn over once, yarn over twice, and now you're going to go in Beside that long spoke that you did in the previous round, you're going to go in like you normally would, push out through the other side so that you're on the other side of it, yarn over with the green, pull up a loop and make it make sure it's coming up to meet the next round. Then you're going to yarn over, pull through two green loops. Then, I hope you saw that. I don't know if you did. <laughs> Let's do it again. So we've completed the first part of that triple crochet and then you're yarning over once, twice with the green, going in beside that long stitch, pulling up a long loop, then yarn over, pull through two with the green, then you're going to drop that green, pull up the pink, yarn over, pull through three loops, yarn over, pull through two. So it's a really unusual stitch. I, I don't know, I just made it up. Um, it's kind of a triple crochet switch. I, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Anyway, now what you're going to do into the next stitch, you're just going to do a triple crochet. So for a normal triple crochet, it's just yarn over once, yarn over twice. Then going into that next, so yarn over once, yarn over twice. Going into the next stitch along just there, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two. So that's a normal triple crochet. Then beside that into the same stitch you're going to put three double crochets. One and two and three. So that's three double crochets. So there you made your first corner just like that. Sort of push that out a little bit so it's a bit more visible. So yeah, that's your first corner. Now into the next stitch along, you're just going to put one double crochet. So one double crochet. Then into the next five stitches along, you're going to put a half double crochet into each stitch. So one. Oh, trying not to get stuck. So you're putting one. Now two. Three. Four and five. Now into the next stitch you're going to put a double crochet. So one double crochet just like this. Grab some more yarn and try not to bump the camera. I feel like I say that a lot. Yeah. I'm very clumsy. Anyway, so yes. I try not to pull that either because otherwise it can get bunched up. Anyway, so what we do next is we're going to put three double crochets into the next stitch along. So one and two and three. Then we're going to yarn over once, yarn over twice, go into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two. Now you're going to drop the pink strand, pick up the green, yarn over, complete the stitch with the green. 
Now you're going to do a triple crochet with the green into the next stitch along. So the green stitch, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Then three double crochets into the same stitch. So one and two and three. Then into the next stitch along, you're going to put one double crochet, so one double crochet into the next stitch along, followed by five half double crochets into the next five stitches. No, one half double crochet into the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. All right. That's it's looking okay. It's actually not the best one, but it's okay. It's not bad. Okay. Now into the next stitch, you're going to put a double crochet. So one double crochet followed by three double crochets into the next stitch along. So one, two, and three. Then we're going to do that weird triple crochet again. So we'll do it again together. It's yarn over once, yarn over twice. Insert your hook into the same stitch as you did the three triple cro uh, double crochets. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. But then drop the green, pick up the pink behind it, yarn over once, yarn over twice. Go in beside that pink spoke that you did from the previous round, push up behind it, Yarn over, pick up a loop, pull it through, and lengthen it so that it comes up to meet the next round. Then you're going to yarn over with the pink, pull through two loops. Where are we? Two. <laughs> yep. Then you're going to drop the pink, pick up the green behind it, yarn over, pull through three loops, yarn over, pull through two to finish the stitch. And just like that. Now it's a triple crochet into the next stitch along, where are we? Which will be I think that one just there, yep. So one, two, three, is that right? Should be. One, two, three, four, five, one, yep, that's right. Okay, and then three double crochets into the same stitch. So one, two, and three three, followed by one double crochet into the next stitch along, so one, and then five half double crochets along into the next five stitches, so one, two, three, four, and five, Followed by one double crochet into the next stitch, three double crochets into the stitch after that. So. Alrighty, and here are the finished mittens. Two. So yes, and this is how I envisioned three. wearing them last night when I was thinking about it. And then the triple crochet have them up where with we this jumper that the I made. Top, so. Sweater. Roll that neck off the shoulder roll neck. It looks really good. Um, yeah. And of course, very, very simple to make. Uh, not much time at all. I hope you like them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Then a triple crochet into the next stitch. Two, two, and two. Then three double crochets into the same stitch. One two and three then one double crochet into the next stitch along so one and now you should have one stitch left at the end which will be that slip stitch from the previous round where you're going to put your final half double crochet so one final half double crochet and there we are all finished let's see how that looks oh my goodness Okay, yeah, that's okay. That's fine. I think the stitches could have been a little tighter. But it's not it's not horrible. It's not bad at all. Yeah. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to, grabbing both of the strands like this, we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain one from the beginning. So just like this. 
to close the round. There we go. All right. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. And then what you do is you yarn over, chain one with both of those strands. Find your scissors. I'm going to find your scissors. You're going to just cut the yarn like this and then pull that chain through and secure it just like this. So there you go. There's your, there's your argyle square. Lazy girl. <laughs> Lazy girl. Oh my goodness. It's, um, it is, where are we? We're almost 1.30 in the morning, so I think it's bedtime. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Wait, no, I've got to stitch these together. Okay, we'll stitch these together quickly. Um, what are we going to do? All right. So we're doing it in, I think we'll do it in the green because that one might be easier to see. Yeah, we'll just do this. Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're lining them up so that I'm going to line them up and then I'm going to point the camera down so you can see. So there we go. So we're lining them up so that they go into a diamond shape like this. And then we're going to be stitching them together. So you know what? I might just... I'm thinking of just waking up in the morning and doing it. I'm going to do it now. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. All right. So I'll see you very shortly for when we stitch together these, these squares. Um, all right. See you soon. Okay, now I've lined up my squares into the pattern that I'm going to be sewing them together in. So that's what that looks like with the green diamond in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my green yarn. I'll grab the end of that and I'm going to make a slip knot. So making a slip knot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the bottom right hand square. So we've got 15 stitches to work with on each side. So what we're going to do is, because we're sewing this side to, yeah, we're using this side. We're going to be going into the first of the green stitches down the bottom just here. We're going to insert our hook into that stitch. We're going to add just the knot to the hook and pull it through that stitch and then you're going to pull that tight and you're sort of going to hold the yarn to that side for a moment because you're going to pick up the bottom left hand square so you're going to turn it to the side like this and go into the first of the stitches that you'll be working with along this side so inserting your hook through there then you're going to grab the yarn and you're going to yarn over and pull a loop through that stitch. I know this looks kind of messy for the moment. You're going to grab a loop, pull it through that stitch. Then you're going to yarn over and single crochet. So we're doing single crochets to join the stitches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull that loop loose that's on your hook. You're going to shove that loose end aside and then you're going to go into the next stitch along on the right hand square so where are we that'll be that one just there so you're going to go through there you're going to pick that loop back up that you dropped and pull it through the stitch pull that tight then you're going to go into the next stitch along on the left hand square so the second stitch pull up a loop yarn over single crochet so drop the loop and then going into the third stitch along on the left on the right hand square into that one just there pick up the loop again and pull it through that stitch pull tight then go into the third stitch along on the left hand square so into where am I to make sure I'm going to the right one so that one into the left hand square single crochet so that's that's it you're just single crocheting all the stitches together so you're going to do 15 of those and once you've done your 15 single crochets crocheting these together we're going to meet back up and we're going to talk about how to join the other squares to the to the big square all right see you soon all right now here i am and i've single crocheted all those 15 stitches together so what i'm going to do at this point is i'm going to drop that loop that's on the hook I'm going to pick up the top right hand corner 
and I'm going to put my stitch through the first stitch on this side. So that'll be the stitch that sort of falls to the to that side of the spoke, not that side. So that stitch just down the bottom there, so that stitch on the left. You're going to stick it through there, you're going to pick up your work again, you're going to grab that loop that was on your hook, you're going to pull it through that stitch very carefully. You're going to pull that tight. And now you're going to pick up <laughs> you're going to pick up the Left, top left hand corner, top left hand corner, and you're going to go into the first stitch along on that side, which will be that one just there. You're going to insert your hook, oh no, wait, it's going to be that one just there. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull up a loop, then you're going to yarn over and pull through single crochet. So you're just pretty much single crocheting everything together still. Alright, so from here it's going to be pretty much the same as what you did just before. You're going to drop the loop, pull up the loop, pull it loose, and you're going to move to the next stitch along on the right hand square. Insert your hook, so insert into that second stitch along, pull through a loop, Pull it tight, then move to the stitch on the right hand side, go into the next stitch along, so the second stitch on the, I'm sorry, the left hand side. Pull a loop up through there, single crochet, and once again you're single crocheting all of those 15 stitches together. So once you've done that, we'll meet back up again, and we'll talk about how we're going to join the, the cross section just there. I know it looks a little bit messy right now, but you know, I did say it was a lazy girl. Argyle, so that's, that's pretty much exactly what it is. Anyway, we'll meet back up and it'll come together and it'll be fine. Okay, see you soon. Alright, now here we are on our 15th. We've done our 15th single crochet up the side. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to chain one, grab your scissors, and you're going to cut the yarn. And you're going to pull that chain through to secure it, just like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn it to the side, just like, no, nope, that's wrong. Try not to get it twisted. <laughs> yeah, see, it's, it's complicated. All right, there we go. Untwisting it. So now it's like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a fresh piece of yarn, make a slip knot, and you're going to kind of be repeating the process. So you're going to find the first stitch along on the right-hand side at the bottom here. Going to insert your hook into that. You're going to adjust that knot to the hook, pull it through the stitch, pull tight, and then you're going to pick up the corresponding square on the other side. You're going to stick your no, you're going to stick your hook through that first stitch just there on that side. Yarn over, pull up a loop, single crochet, and then. Dropping that loop, you're going to move to the next stitch along and insert your hook into the next stitch along, pick the loop back up, pull it through, move to the second stitch along on the left hand side, single crochet. So you can do that 15 times. We'll meet back up in the middle and we will move to the next couple of squares together. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, now for this next bit, I've tried to angle the camera down so that you can see a bit better what I'm trying to show you. So you've put in your 15 single crochets just there, along, along the sides just there. So what you're going to do is to sort of fill in the gaps in the middle, so there's not too many. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet okay, together so the stitches here it is all the, finished that you've already so put yes. a single crochet uh, like into. Like I said, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Joins I love the fit. colors. The first like, one I love the white and the orange together. So be the, and I really love the concept. The like, I love the idea of it, but I feel like I could have made the whole there. at the front a little bit bigger. I think I already said that. Pull through your loop. Maybe try to make the gaps more circular. So I think I'm going to work on that and, and maybe try again sort of, at a later date. Yeah. This can be with a little circular bit circular gaps. Which is annoying. 
yeah, what you're going but to I'd love to, to like I said, I'd love to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments stitch if you like it or you don't like it. Either way. Stitch just to hear um, that you've but thank you for joining to. me, and I'll Pull see you next time. For a moment. Yeah, this is not easy to show you. So, where are we? There we go. Okay, so the stitch you've already gone into on this side. So just through there. You're going to go into that. You're going to pull through a loop. Pull it tight and then single crochet. And you're going to move up to the next stitches. Or to the next set of squares. Where are we? God, don't want to get too confused. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to single crochet into the stitches on the next two squares up um, through stitches, the stitches that the, just here that you've already single crocheted into. So that the gap is sort of, you know, so where are we? I'll show you with this one here. So there's that stitch that you've already single crocheted into on that side. There you go. And now you've got 15 more stitches of these two squares just here to single crochet together. So what are we doing? Moving on to the next stitch along just here. So we, oh, it's a bit messy, but that's okay. So into that one just there, pull through the loop. There we go. And yeah, just business as usual. Moving on to the next stitch along on the other side. Oh, that seems a bit fiddly, doesn't it? So just like that, single crochet. 15 more stitches. Let's meet back up when we've done that and see how it looks. Okay, see you in a minute. All right, so here I am with all my 15 single crochets just in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one, find my scissors, cut the yarn, and pull that chain through just like this and pull tight so there we go that is done so as you can see you can probably see why i'm calling it the lazy girl at this point because it's, it's kind of a little messy still i feel like the more often i do this the neater it will become you know and it will look a bit better but yes i i love it i do love it and i think it's going to look nice um I think it's going to look nice on a sweater. Like, I really do on the front of a sweater. I think that'll look really cool. You know. Um, but yeah, I oh, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, I didn't actually go to bed. It's, it's now... <laughs> I may as well tell you. It's now uh, quarter past three in the morning. So, here we are. That's how that is. Yes, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope you made yourself a lovely argyle square diamond thing. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next Sunday. And probably before that as well. Alright, thanks for watching. See you soon.